Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. I got an email from someone a while ago and they're thinking of going to Japan and they asked me a couple of questions. Some of you might have similar questions, so I thought I'd answer them in a video. Okay, so here's the first question. I think I'll answer the other one another day. I have a master's and most of a PhD in communication, although not language teaching. But I was thinking of doing an online accredited TESOL certification. Do you think it would be worth the money? Well, before I went to Japan, I'd done a BA and then postgrad journalism, and then I decided to do a teaching course before I came to Japan. So I did a CLTA, Certificate in Language Teaching to Adults. And I'm glad I did it because I learned a lot during that course. But you don't need to do a certificate like that to get a job teaching in Japan. Basically, you just need a degree to teach English in Japan. So whether or not you also do the teaching certificate, I guess it kind of depends on how seriously you take your job and also how interested you are in teaching. Like in any profession, there are some people who teach English in Japan who don't take their job seriously and they get away with it. But if you're serious about teaching, then I would recommend doing the teaching course. Not because you have to to get a job, but just because you'll learn a lot doing the course and then you'll probably become a better teacher. I'm not so sure about an online course though, because one of the best things about my course was that I got to practice teaching. I did team teaching with a really good teacher. This was at AUT in Auckland, New Zealand. And she watched me teaching a class and she gave me some feedback about my teaching, which was really helpful. I still remember how nervous I was before doing that. And just having that experience was really useful for when I went to Japan, I think. So in my first interview when they said, okay, here are some students now, teach them this, then I could draw from my teaching experience. So I would recommend doing a course. But having said that, if you really don't want to spend the money on the course, then I think the next best thing is just to teach yourself. So there are a lot of good books out there about teaching and read the books and also try and get some teaching experience. So do some volunteer teaching, get a language exchange partner, maybe do that and try and get some feedback if you can. Kia ora and stick news today, American Airlines has sued Google. American Airlines is the world's largest airline. Google is an American public corporation specializing in internet search and online advertising. American Airlines isn't happy with Google at the moment. According to Reuters, American Airlines says Google has been selling the right to use American Airlines trademarks and service marks or words, phrases or terms confusingly similar to those marks to competitors who then direct searches to their own web pages. Google doesn't seem too worried about the lawsuit. They said in a statement, We are confident that our trademark policy strikes a proper balance between trademark owners' interests and consumer choice and that our position has been validated by decisions in previous trademark cases. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 21st of August. Kia ora. How long was the teaching course you did? Wow, that's long. Aren't they usually six weeks? How many classes did you have a week? What kind of things did you learn? Do you keep in touch with anyone from that course? About six months. Well, half a school year, so that's probably not six months actually. Yeah, but this was part time. It was twice a week and each class was two hours, I think. Ah, all kinds of things. I can't really remember specifically now, but one of the things we did was we taught in front of the class and gave each other feedback, which was really good. No, I wish I did though. There were some really nice people. There was one guy who was a bus driver, he was really cool. I wonder what happened to him. 
Where's the headquarters of American Airlines? A. Washington B. Texas C. California B. When was American Airlines founded? A. 1930 B. 1950 C. 1980 A. What was the name of American Airlines when it was founded? A. Air America B. American Air C. American Airways C. What is the slogan of American Airlines? A. We know where you fly. We're American Airlines. B. We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. C. We know how you fly. We're American Airlines. B. What was their slogan in the early 1970s? A. It's good to know you're on American Airlines. B. It's great to know you're on American Airlines. C. It's excellent to know you're on American Airlines. A. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.